the political rights of the women in Islam. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 71, well, mu'minina wal mu'minat, ba'zum alia ba'z. The believing men and the believing women, they are supporters of one another. Not only socially, but even politically. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Mumtahina, chapter number 60, verse number 12, that, O oh Prophet, when the women come to thee for an oath of fealty, that big word is bayan, it is far superior to the modern voting that we have. In modern voting, we select the head of state. But here, the prophet, beside the woman agreeing that he is the head of state, they also agreed that he was the messenger of Allah, he was the prophet of Allah. It is far superior than the modern voting system that we have today. In Islam, the woman can also take part in lawmaking. Once there was an occasion when Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, the second caliph of Islam, he was discussing with the Sahabas that should we put an upper limit for the mahar? The women, they are demanding too much money for marriage, so should we put an upper limit? So there was a woman who objected from the back seat of the mosque. Even the woman's name is not mentioned, that means it was an ordinary woman. It wasn't a woman who was a great scholar. It was an ordinary woman who objected from the back seat of the mosque and said that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not put an upper limit, because the Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse number 20, you can even give a mountain of gold. So when Allah, our creator, has not put an upper limit, who is Umar? May Allah be pleased with him to put an upper limit. And the Caliph of Islam, Hadrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, he said, Umar is wrong and the woman is right. That means she took an objection to the breach of constitution. And this hadith is classified as a Sai hadith. Women, there are chapters in Bukhari, who even took part in the battlefield. They went and gave water to the soldiers. They gave first aid to the soldiers, to the men. And there is an incident mentioned in Sai Bukhari, where a lady by the name of Nafisa, during Battle of Uhud, she was amongst the other Sahabas who were around the Prophet and they protected the Prophet. And while doing that, she received wounds and the Prophet praised her for her bravery.